Hey guys, welcome back to another Bill's Beer Review. Today we're going to drink another classic American beer. Now it hasn't been around very long, they only started making it in 1960, but since then it has established itself rather firmly as a classic, classic American beer. Um, by that I mean it won gold medals in 1990 and 1991, silver medals in 1987, 1988, 93, 94, and 2005. It also brought home bronze medals in 1995, 2002, and 2004 at the Great American Beer Festival. So what beer are we going to drink today? Well, I'll show you. <clears throat> Genesee Cream Ale. If any of you guys are, were around in the 80s, remember the beer commercial? Party doesn't start until Jenny gets here. Okay. Now, this, uh, this beer, it's a cream ale. And I don't pretend to know exactly what a cream ale is. I don't know if it's like a mix between an ale and a lager or uh, what have you. But it is made by the Genesee Brewing Company, located on the Genesee River in Rochester, New York. A few of the other brands that uh, this company makes that you may or may not be familiar with are Jim Dundee's Honey Brown, uh, a line of Seagram's wine coolers. They make a few high-gravity malt beverages, and they also brew and distribute Labatt's Blue Light, Light Lime, and uh, Labatt's Blue Ice. So, without further ado, let's try some beer. Now I've already got one poured here, because even though this video is a, a few minutes long, it doesn't only take a few minutes to make, this is actually my fourth go at it, and I drink beer the whole time, and I don't think you guys want to see me completely shit-faced uh, when we do a brew. But anyway, first thing I notice is it's outrageously carbonated, it's a very wonderful dark yellow golden color to it. It's got the upside down snowstorm going on. Okay, uh, nice lacing, head retention. I smell malt, but not a lot. Um, if I had to guess, this beer is only 50, maybe 60 percent malt, um, which is pretty typical of the American macro brews. Uh, they make all adjunct beers, kind of like a, a kit and kilo style. They use a certain amount of malts, and then the rest are corn sugars, rice syrups, maltodextrins, and the like. But it does have a nice head retention. Now, when I first poured this beer, it was a three-finger head, and it's been sitting about 15 minutes, and we've got a, a one-finger head with some nice lacing. Can't really taste or smell any adjuncts, but, it, uh, I mean, I know they're there. All right. I do... Just a slight hint of hops. Um, not really sure what kind of hops, but given this is an American beer, I'm uh, sure it's uh, some type of a German hop. Wow. <clears throat> um, it's it's thick. It's got a, a real nice mouthfeel, almost creamy in texture. Um, I don't know why that surprises me. This is a cream ale. Um, the malts hit, and uh, then they fade. Um, they get uh, lost in the uh, the carbonation. As I said, this is very carbonated, um, very refreshing type of uh, uh, light beer um, or a light ale. Um, it has just Yeah, has just a slight hoppy finish. Um, the hops are slightly spicy, almost uh, peppery in um, flavor, which um, makes me believe it is a German variety. Again, but all in all, uh, for you guys that like your lawnmower style beers, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this beer. It's uh, it's got a lot of flavor, a lot of carbonation. Oh, excuse me. It um, it's good. Um, it goes great on a very hot day, uh, and in kind of a heat wave here on the East Coast where I live. 
Today happens to be 94 degrees, outrageously humid. Um, you don't leave the house or any type of air conditioning if you don't have to. And this is the perfect beer for that kind of day. So, <clears throat> now that you guys know that, all right, there's an, it's another cheap beer for your arsenal. Okay, and when you go to a beer distributor, don't be a yuppie. All right, don't worry about the $30, $35 um, uh, beers with the special lining, uh, flavor lock, goofy little slits on top of the, the cans for the perfect pour or uh, what, what have you. All right, when you stop by your local beer store, grab yourself a, a case of Jenny Cream Air Ale. They come in 30 packs. Throw them in the refrigerator overnight or a freezer for two hours. Get them down nice and cold. Pick out your favorite movie and enjoy your night. All right, guys, thanks for watching my videos. All right, comment down below. I answer most every comments that I get. If you like the video, thumbs it up. Um, subscribe. You know, stick around a while. Watch the other one, uh, any of my other videos. If you don't like it, you can always uns unsubscribe later. All right, guys, I'm out. I hope uh, your week this far has been good. I hope the rest of your week is even better. Take care, guys. And 17.